So, uh, today, I got a package in the mail from somebody named DC from New York. I got no notice. Nobody sent me any information. I don't even know how this person got my address, but let's just go ahead and uh, and open this up here and see what, what this is about. Because I'm very confused at how these people got my address in the first place. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this out. It looks like we got a note from DC. This isn't DC Comics, is it? This is DC. How did DC Comics get my address? I mean, look at that. That's like, this is official. Look at this letter, man. But it says, Dear Mr. MJD, I represent DC Comics. We've seen your work on YouTube and wanted to share this with you. I mean, this is, so, there's so much information in this letter, as you can clearly see. I'm going to have to, you know, get into this later, but it says, If you could please have a look at the enclosed package, I believe it will spike you and your viewers' interest from BM. I mean, this has to be like a prank or something. There's no way. Hold on a second. What? No, this can't be real. Windows 7 Batman v Superman edition? So yes, funny intro aside, today we're going to be taking a look at something called Windows 7 Batman v Superman edition. <laughs> I still can't fathom that this thing actually exists. No, DC did not send me a package. I'm sorry, I led you guys on. But I found this online. This is another one of those fan-made Windows versions. And when I was looking through uh, the website for this, I knew I had to do a video on it because this is probably the most bizarre combination. I mean, really the most bizarre Windows version that I've taken a look at on this channel. I mean, we've done, you know, Windows 7 Gold, XP Gold, XP Black Edition, uh, Windows 7 Neon, all these ones. But this is just makes no sense. Like, what kind of name? Like, I don't even know who the people that made this thing. Like, do they just really like Batman v Superman? I mean, they must really like DC Comics. Or they just like taking two things that have absolutely no relation to one another and putting them together into some, you know, bizarre operating system. But we're going to, you know, go ahead and jump into this. So this is it. I've created uh, a VM with all the settings over here. You know, you can pause and, you know, take a look at them if you want. But we're just going to go ahead and power this thing on for the first time. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen. And we're going to take a look at Windows 7 Batman v Superman Edition. Uh, man, I mean, I, I, like I said, I have no idea what to expect. I haven't looked at like any photos or any videos of this. I have no idea what this is going to look like, what, you know, features that this is going to have, if it, you know, includes anything else. I mean, most of these unofficial versions do come with a bunch of, uh, like pre bundled software. Okay. So we got this special thanks to some super admins and a moderator. And, uh, we got Superman in, in the background there. Batman vs. Superman edition is starting. I mean, can you, like, this is the most bizarre thing that I've ever taken a look at. I mean, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments, because I would love to hear them. So, uh, one thing that I did forget to mention, this is made by the same people that made um, Windows 7 Gold uh, and a few other ones. It's the uh, Computer Media Team Pakistan. This is a, another one of those like unofficial versions out of Pakistan. There seems to be a lot of them being developed over there. So we've got English, English, US, US. Uh, the background here you notice is, uh, is you know, totally different. We got Superman, Batman, uh, the, lo uh, the logo. And it says gathering Batman versus Superman edition info. It doesn't even say Windows. It just says install Batman versus Superman. And uh, they made this whole window just totally clear. Uh, or I should say transparent so you can see through them. So the the full name is Windows 7 Batman versus Superman Lite by Computer Media. Uh, this is an x86 version. I don't believe they had a download for the 64-bit. And uh, it was last modified August 15th, 2012. So this might actually be a little bit older. Um... Or they may have just been using like a modification tool that, you know, set the files to or like all of, you know, the Windows OS files to that date. I'm not sure. But we're going to go ahead and click on next. So this is Windows 7. So, I mean, you can't even see like the checkbox down here. Like I just checked the checkbox. You can very like you, you like have to squint almost to see it, but it is there. Um, we got a five up here and a six. I guess you can use like the number uh, pad. I uh, like to scroll down. I don't have one on this keyboard, so... Uh, but yeah, Windows 7 Ultimate Service Pack 1. So it's got, like, the regular uh, Microsoft license agreement in here. 
So we're going to go ahead and uh, accept, click on next, and we're going to install on disk zero. I mean, you know, gave it 30 gigs. We're just going to go through with that, and let's just see. <laughs> Let's just see what this you know, like what this has in the store. Like I said, I have absolutely no idea what to expect, but we're going to be taking a look at this together. So let's go ahead and just I'm going to you know let it copy its stuff over, and yeah, I'm going to come back uh, once we're booting into Windows 7 Batman v Superman Edition. Man, I just can't get over that. All right, so we just finished the setup process, or at least the first portion of it there and we are going to be restarting. So the boot screen right off the bat looks totally unmodified. It just says starting Windows, copyright Microsoft Corporation. And this might change after because, you know, this is just the first boot here. This may change later on once it uh, applies all of its settings because usually it goes into a phase next where, I mean, if this is anything like all the other ones that I've taken a look at, which it probably is in this regard, it's gonna boot up into some you know, custom installer, and it's gonna install a bunch of programs. Uh, so yeah, Batman. <laughs> I mean, this is Batman versus Superman edition is starting services. Like, it doesn't say Windows or like anything or your computer. It just says Batman. It's just so like, it's so bizarre. I'm gonna probably say that like a million times. Uh, so we are completing the installation now. Uh, we also have a custom cursor, as you may be able to see. It's um, uh, just like a red cursor with uh, the Superman logo. I assume that's like acting as the hourglass. I think that the hourglass would be displaying right now. Alrighty, we have just restarted the system again. It has uh, said that it was going to go into the next phase of the setup. So we've got the logo. It says Batman versus Superman is preparing a computer for first use with like a, a little loading graphic there. And this is where it already starts to look a little bit different. So it automatically comes up and it asks you to choose a username for your account. Your computer name is managed by your organization's system administrator. So this is looking like it might be something that would happen in a business environment when you would set up Windows for the first time. But I'm going to go ahead and just type in, let me get in the VM here. I'm going to type in Michael. We've got that um uh, that same cursor there. Go ahead and click on that. Okay, so this says 2016. So I don't think that that earlier date of 2012, that might not be accurate. So we'll, we'll type that in. We're not going to type a password. We'll use recommended settings. I don't know if this is going to try to like activate with Microsoft, but it would be you know pretty interesting if it did. And I'm hoping to see like an automated installer. Let's see if that happens next. Thanks for choosing computer media team product. So we've we've got like a modified uh, login screen as well. They've completely stripped away all of like the Windows and Microsoft branding and put their own branding and uh, the Batman versus Superman logo. And here we go. This is when oh well. I can't find oh yes windows loader look at this so it ran windows loader to basically crack the installation i don't know what it was trying to do here with cm team and now it's loading the setup loader yeah computer media software in progress please wait i don't know if it's going to let you choose so again totally random like song choice here this is the tokyo drift song from fast and furious like why would you use that in a Batman v Superman themed anything, but that's what <laughs> that's what they did. So yeah, I'm obviously gonna have to mute the majority of this song uh, because it is copyrighted, and you know YouTube will uh, obviously demonetize the video. So Batman v Superman installer, we've got some programs here. Let's just choose all these: Firefox, C Cleaner, WinRAR, Seven Zip, Team Viewer, uh, uTorrent, VLC, and Power ISO. So it automatically, as soon as I checked all those checkboxes, it installed everything automatically. We've got like a million uh, different command prompt windows opening. And I guess that is this installer right here. Like that's all you get is just these eight programs. So let's go ahead and close out of that. So there was a theme installer that came up. It looked like it installed a, a theme. <laughs> So we've got like the genuine, just in case you had any doubts that this was genuine, they've like just embedded a genuine Microsoft software image in like the right click context menu. I should point out that this is not genuine uh, because it's, you know, used Windows Loader to crack it, but they've, man, they just put the, like the weirdest stuff, like who puts your Facebook and your website in the right click context menu? So every time that you, that you right click, you get 
those shortcuts but I'm gonna go ahead and change the screen resolution because I think we have drivers installed now so I've bumped up the screen resolution I, I didn't go all the way up to, to, to 1080p just to make it a little bit uh, easier to see for those of you who are viewing on smaller screens I think I'm gonna go ahead and you know try to do that now when I do these videos so let me know if you like this better than you know seeing it at you know full 1080p but um, so we do have a custom theme installed because it said it installed a custom theme, but I don't know if it's actually going to work. Uh, I think we do need to have drivers installed. So I'm going to go ahead and just install VMware tools here. So if you were wondering, it did change the boot screen. So here that is, it says loading Batman V Superman with the logo again, copyright computer media team. So they did modify the boot screen. It just took actually booting into the OS for the first time. Uh, for it to take effect. Okay, so I did install VMware tools and this theme like the default one uh, Still looks pretty basic, but I was able to change it to This one right here and it totally modifies everything so it makes like the window borders and everything just look totally different uh, So we've got like this map background here um, The start menu does look a little bit different. Let's see if we type in like Winver what this is identifying itself as so they've, they've even gone ahead and changed that so computer media team windows 6.1 this is based on build 7601 service pack one copyright so they've you know again stripped away all references to microsoft except for like the software license terms it's uh, registered to michael of the cm team uh so yeah installed programs like i said it actually didn't have much to install which really surprised me because usually there's a bunch of junk that it just automatically installs a bunch of programs but there were just those eight to choose from so that was a VLC, uh, we got 7-Zip, uh, C-Cleaner, there are the regular games in here, Maintenance, I mean, I know you can't probably see this very, very well, let me go ahead and change to the Captain America theme. Uh, so this just changed uh, the logo down here, but uh, yeah, we got uh, WinRAR, VLC, uTorrent, uh, a start.bat file, which I don't know what this does, let's see what... Oh, okay, start.bat has been removed, so that was probably... Um, like some of the first login commands that would automatically start uh, but again we got power ISO so yeah not really a whole lot of uh, of like a bunch of programs in here uh, and I think most of those are free you uTorrent might be cracked I don't know if this is like let's see yeah using this free program so none of the programs are actually cracked I'm very impressed because usually they have a bunch of pirated software however the uh, like Windows loader cracked the actual Windows installation so the version of Windows is pirated um, but all the, all the software is not although wait a second power ISO I think is a paid program so this is probably yeah so this has been this has been cracked as well so okay so there's at least one uh, cracked program in here, but there's all these random themes that actually have nothing to do with Batman versus Superman at all Like Gears 3, Kung Fu Panda 2 Maybe these are all just random themes that they made. I have no idea, but this one actually looks pretty cool It you know changes or no, what's uh, this one here Canyon X? Yeah, this one kind of makes it look uh, Somewhat similar like Windows 10 kind of I mean not totally but I can see like a you know a little bit of remnants there it made this uh, clock down here much larger um yeah that that totally changes everything around there you know makes even like the uh you know like scrolling down look look, look totally different uh yeah wishful dream puss in boots movie transformers 3 like i don't know what their intention was with adding some of these themes but they're here and i mean maybe they just like have all of these themes maybe they have like a windows 7 uh, kung fu panda 2 edition i don't know so maybe they just add all these themes into um every single one of these that they make but overall i mean that is pretty much it i mean you can kind of see what they were going for here not a, a whole lot of like added modifications i mean we really only had the theme and all of uh you know like the installation process was you know uh, was totally modified as you saw um but for like all, there's only eight programs that installed like i said but yeah that is pretty much going to wrap it up for windows 7 batman versus superman edition easily the most bizarre uh 
unofficial Windows version that I've taken a look at on this channel. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to go ahead down below and if you're not already, get subscribed as I upload new videos every week. And uh, be sure to let me know down in the comments your thoughts on this uh, just bizarre experience that we've all witnessed here together. What do you think of this? Would you actually use this? I would highly recommend that you don't use this on your main computer, but if somebody paid you, would you actually use this operating system uh, on your main computer? Which I, again, would not recommend, but uh, it's just, you know, fun to think about. Anyway, guys, as always, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.